Okay, we are going to continue on and we're not gonna make you wait any longer. Let's talk of that faux leather double-breasted blazer. And like I said, if I didn't tell you it was faux, you wouldn't know. It is soft, it actually feels like a lambskin leather. That's what it feels like to me. And you're seeing it there in the uh, burgundy, which is stunning. We also have it in black and then in bitter chocolate. Double extra small to 3X. And you can wash these at home. We just suggest you hand wash these at home. Marla, this, I felt a lot of faux fur in my day and I know you have as well. This is one of the best. Well, you know, it's interesting because I brought out faux leather last year as well. And I thought, oh, this is the best. I, I, and I really felt that way. But now I feel like a little teeny bit of a hypocrite because actually there was something better. And this is it. You know, every year in the faux furs, the faux leathers, the faux suede, any of these fabrications, technology is making it possible. You know, our mills are constantly refining what they do, constantly. And it is true. I mean, you know, I've been talking about this wedding because you know in October we're bringing you our first occasion collection, and I mean red carpet ready. Oh. And I will be wearing our red carpet ready to this fancy schmancy wedding that I'm going to in Mexico City. Yes. And I've been thinking about what to bring, what to bring, what to bring. And I'm not a moto jacket girl. I love them. I love Juliana's moto jackets. They just don't fit me right. Mm -hmm. I, I, they're not for me, but I love them. But I don't have one. And one of the things they say when traveling to Mexico City is, you know, bring your moto jacket or a little leather blazer. Mm -hmm. So I'm happy I have myself covered on this one mm -hmm. because I feel elevated. You know, Mexico City is a bit like Paris. When you go out, you wear quality and you want it to look like a million bucks because you look around and everybody else looks like a million bucks. So you kind of think like, hey, I don't want to look like a little schlepper. <laughs> so this blazer right, has some great qualities to it. First of all, the pockets are nice and deep. And if you breach your hands in there, you'll see that we used a lining fabrication. So there's no bulk, which by the way, in the pants you're wearing, Tamara, mm -hmm. yes. if you put your hands in the pants, you'll notice we used a much lighter weight um, lining in there to the pockets as well so yes. that you get no bulk. There's great princess seams, right? Really nice princess seams. And then you have just a sink, you know, it looks sort of double breasted, but it's a single button, which I love because it looks great closed. It looks great open. I've put the burgundy. We have a lot of burgundy and I really want to encourage you to go on to HSN to see all the amazing pieces we have in burgundy this year. It was a great color for us last year. And I've brought in this fuchsia, which looks great with our um, front seam flare pant. And then over here, you know, we have these wonderful wraps. And I'm telling you right now, if you catch me on a plane, mm -hmm. including to Mexico City or Tampa or L.A., <laughs> I'm always going to have one of those. And we have a black, we have one to uh, tie back to every one of the blazers. Okay. It's such an elegant look. to take. I took that bitter chocolate blazer and I put the heathered oatmeal with the uh, uh, ecru uh, it's completely reversible. This is how you make your um, whole look go better. If you like that little wrap, by the way, that's 836-119, 836-119. We have one to tie back. In fact, Alexis, can you find my little one in the black? I'm going to throw that. I love layers. It yes. is why inside Wind Collection, we also have Wind Layers. And these pieces, this is how you make your money work harder for you ladies. So I can tell you, because when I was in New York last, I went into Bergdorf's and all the fancy stores, you know, where you kind of feel like, I'm going to have to sell like a vital organ or one of my kids. <laughs> like, honestly, I saw t-shirts for $1,000. I'm like, what are you people, insane? Oh my Oh no, gosh. I, I teach Right? Like it's, but oh, I love looking at it, but I'm not going to do that. Yeah. And here's what I also saw there. Faux leather for thousands of dollars. Faux leather is happening because I think all of us realize that there's a value to it and it's so beautiful and it holds up. Mm -hmm. And by the way, when you spill something on your faux leather, you're going to wipe it off. It's such a great buy. And the blazers that I've been seeing at market at mm -hmm. sort of, let's say, a, a mid-tier price are still 
anywhere from two to $350. This one's got great princess seams. There's a little slit um, uh, vent in the back. You've got nice pockets. And I don't know why we did this. I'd love for you guys to write to me and tell me, was it worth it? Because every single detail I do costs money, right? But whenever you have a really good blazer, one of the ways, your husbands will know this, a fine suit has working cuff buttons. Yes. And ours are all working. Now, I... I don't know what I would have saved on the manufacturing of this, but to me, to have every detail be elevated meant something to me. Mm. Um, and because I want that elevated feeling, I wear my clothes because I enjoy them. And I think they're every bit the quality of pieces that are in more expensive stores. And the beauty of this is that we give you outfits. We show you how you can dress from head to to toe in these pieces, right? right? So if you want a little pop of color under these blazers, try our little soft knit. We've got this beautiful broken floral intarsia soft knit that I showed you. And that comes also, I think, in black and ecru. And we've got it. And then we have spice and oatmeal, which would look gorgeous under the bitter chocolate blazer. Yes. So there's a lot of ways to um, mix and match this. You see Victoria wearing one of our little scarves. And what I love about our scarves in terms of styling is they become a roadmap for what you're going to want to wear, right? And I see you putting some boots that we have up yes. uh, at HSN. Great pairings back to our uh, to our various different pants mm -hmm. that we have for you. And I have to tell you, I'm a huge Bear Paw fan. And uh, I think the last pair I got was six years ago and I have slept up and down my driveway in them. So I'll be getting my new pair this year. <laughs> but listen, this is all you have to do yeah. to take anything and make it elegant, add a scarf, mm -hmm. wear it on its own. You'll be able to throw a little, for example, the little scuba jacket that you saw me wear last yeah. That can layer over this. So this really becomes your go-to piece, I think. Yes. A blazer is a must-have. It and is. I love this one. And it's classic. Very much so. It's classic. It's a piece that you're adding into your wardrobe this year, but you're going to have it for many, many years to come and always going to love it. This is the bitter chocolate and it's bitter chocolate through and through, even the lining. This one is your burgundy. And then we also have it for you in black. And it's again, black on the inside. Even the lining is um, color match to go with it. Working buttons on the cuff as well as your double-breasted design. So enjoy that. 836-148 is the number.